to Caesar! Let reason shall be rendered of Caesar's death. Romans, countrymen, citizens. Here we are with Doug and Diane, who are both performing in this evening's performance of Julius Caesar. Tell me a little bit about your role as Brutus. Brutus is a really unique character in Shakespeare. He's really sort of the center of the play, but it's a very complicated character as to whether you really think he's the hero or the villain or something much more complicated in between. And Portia? She's the dutiful wife, but like all the women in this show, she's fantastic because she really, if only Brutus would have listened to her, a lot of the trouble would never have started. So we like the women's roles in this play for that <laughs> reason. Fault. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. The, dangers, the dangers of being idealistic. Yeah. <laughs> a very strong woman, which is always wonderful to play. Sure is. Tell me a little bit about your acting experience. Uh, I was an actor for a long time in the first kind of half of my career in New York City and in Shakespeare festivals around the country, uh, and then gave it up for directing and teaching for about the last 10 years. And then I moved to Buffalo two years ago and uh, ended up on stage uh, in the last performances at uh, Studio Arena in To Kill a Mockingbird, and, and now getting a chance to work out here for my second season. So I'm sort of rediscovering acting again. I'm a native Buffalonian, but I moved to New York right out of college and spent about 15 years in the city doing everything from soap work to off-off-Broadway shows, small films. So I've been back about five years, and I'm really happy to be on this stage this summer. It's a privilege. And tell me a little bit about the success. This is the second most attended Shakespeare outdoor event in the nation, which is incredible. What do you think the key is to the success here? I've been in a few cities that have had Shakespeare festivals like this. I think what, what is really successful, first of all, is the weather, the fact that it's so cold in the winter. People are desperate to get outside in the summer. But more particularly, I think the integrity of the, of the project and, and the ability to put really strong material on stage that's both entertaining and somehow enlightening. And I credit the Western New York audience, too, because they do appreciate and support the arts. So they've made us who we are today. For our viewers out there who haven't had a chance to bend to this event, what, what would they expect if they were to come? Hopefully all the excitement of a good action movie. Uh, those of us that got force-fed Julius Caesar in 10th grade, uh, <laughs> if you had a good teacher, you loved the play. But for most of us, it was sort of fed as something that's good for us. It's just a really an exciting story. It's Right now, I think it's Albany, but with daggers. Uh, it's, it's all the excitement of who's in charge and power and armor and battles uh, and some interesting ideas along the way, but mostly just a lot of excitement. And they should bring their blankets or chairs and some food and drinks and just enjoy a great evening with fellow Western New Yorkers and a crew of professionals. Caesar now peace. I kill not thee with half so good a will. Here we are with another one of our actors, Jeff. Jeff, tell me a little bit about your role in this play. Um, I'm a small role at the beginning, as a cobbler, and Shakespeare's got a way of, in his opening scenes, really setting the tone for the show. So what he does in this play is, um, the revelers come out, Cobbler being kind of like their leader, and they're having a good time, and they've been drinking and whatever, because, you know, Caesar's won the day over Pompey, and it's a celebration time. You have two tribunes come out who tell them off, tell them to go home, and are basically just very negative people in this scene. So, I think what he's doing is, in this beginning scene, through the Cobbler and through these tribunes that he's, you know, being told off by, um, he's saying, you know, this could have been a fun show. This could have been a comedy. This could have been a very happy moment, and it's destroyed. Um, tell me a little bit about your acting experience. Is this something you've been doing for years? Um, well, I started acting when I was in like junior high school. Uh, mostly what I've done is really school run stuff. Um, this is my first professional show. So. Since you're new to this, is it something you plan to do in the future, or is this a one-time thing? No, this is definitely something that I'm hoping to make part of my life. How do you think we can spread the word a little bit? What would you tell our viewers who haven't been to this event? Um, well, you definitely get what you pay for, but um, 
No, seriously though, it's a great show. Um, very entertaining, very fast paced. Especially a show like this, you know, everybody's like, oh my god, Shakespeare, you know, I read this in ninth grade, twelfth grade, whatever. And Shakespeare didn't write his plays to be read. They were meant to be watched. And so watching this theatrical event, this is what it was meant to be 400 years ago. And so you're going to be very well entertained. It's an easy to follow uh, play. And as Doug said before, or Brutus, um, it's a lot of action, a lot of fights, a lot of excitement, a lot of drama. Um, this is a very high intensity show. So you're, you're going to get a lot when you come to the Hill. Thank you very much, Jeff. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Why does that leave these men about the streets? Why, well, sir, to wear out their shoes and get myself into more work. Oh, but indeed, sir, we make holiday to see Caesar and to rejoice in his triumph! Here we are with Carly, who is an intern here at Shakespeare at Delaware Park. Carly, tell me how your experience has been so far. Well, so far it's been great uh, meeting all the cast and all the new interns since I interned last year. It's really great so far. Good. And what are your tasks? Um, on a day-to-day -day basis, we have classes, and we go to those from 1.30 to 4.30. And there we learn acting techniques and movement techniques. And after we're done with that, we come to the park and we set up the stage that you can see behind us. And we've set up speakers, props. Uh, sound equipment, other sound equipment, and then we get costumed and we're actually in the show. Wonderful, and what is your part? I am the servant to Mark Antony. Um, I come in right after they stab Caesar. <laughs> Now that we've had a chance to talk to some of the actors, let's go see what the audience members have to say. Here we are with Caroline. Caroline, what brought you here tonight? We were on a trip out west and we wound up down in Kentucky and we got up this morning and left from Kentucky to get up here on purpose to see Julius Caesar because I actually teach this in high school. But we live out in Albany. We had been to Buffalo a few weeks ago and we stumbled on this park because it was an Olmstead Park. We thought that was beautiful because we have one in Albany. We uh, happened to be close enough this morning that we drove, what, seven hours to get up here from Kentucky and we did it. We got here on time. We're very happy to have you here. What do you expect tonight? Um, I don't know. I've, what I've always wanted to see was how Caesar is produced because it's such a spectacle and how it's done live. Um, in the th in the theater form. One of my friends is an English teacher from Buffalo and she has raved about this so I've been really curious to see it. Here I am with Michelle and Paul. Michelle, how many times have you been here before? Um, three or four. Yeah, and why do you keep coming back? It's a lot of fun. I like bringing the kids here and, uh, and giving them something more than uh, it's just a standard TV, movie, DVD, or video game. It's, uh, it's a lot better for them. Yeah, and what would you say to people who've never been to this event? Would you encourage them to come? Oh my gosh, just come. Bring your blanket, bring your cooler, bring your dinner, and get a good seat. Mark Antony shall say that I am not well. For thy humor will I say it. <laughs> Here we are with Sam. Sam, how many times have you been to this event? I think this is my third time. And I look forward to it every time. Why do you keep coming back? Because it's so nice. I, I can't describe how, how good it is. And you have to be here to really enjoy it. Here we are with some of our friends. How old are you guys? I'm 16. 15? 16. So you guys have probably learned a little bit of Shakespeare. Is this a, a different atmosphere? Does it teach you a little bit more than just reading it by the book? Yeah, it's nice to see uh, new interpretations of it and how, how they've been running for so long so they know a lot about Shakespeare. And it's nice to see how they perform it on stage and how they interpret it. Have you guys ever been to this event before? Yeah, we started last year, I think, with, when they did King Lear and Mary Wives of Windsor. And so we just had such a great time and so we decided to come back this year. And why do you guys look forward to it every year? 
Um, it's one thing to read it, and it's another thing to see it on stage. Um, reading it, you can't. It's really hard to imagine in your head all the characters, but seeing people do it, it's really awesome. And we're all theater nerds, so we like coming to these. <laughs> Now, you've been here quite a few times. Why do you keep coming back? Look around. Do I need to say more? I mean, this is just the best. Great weather. This is the best of Buffalo. Great actors. Super cool atmosphere. Just doesn't get any better than this.